my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. In the dead of night, I'll meet you in my sleep. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes in me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Like a dream come true, I'll take you where I roam. And follow you back home. Tell me you can't. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. I, I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... Uh, why not? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Hell, New York City. Obviously. 3 a.m., you and me outside some cafe on St. Mark's, shoving pizza in our mouths and shouting Broadway songs with ten people we just met. And this cute guy in horn-rimmed glasses will pass by and see you and slow down. Yeah, okay. He'll be like, want to split a cab? And I'll be like, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> <sighs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about, um, Oh. 
Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Holy shit. Right? <laughs> what is this stuff? I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to. I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff for my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong?
Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? Uh, I guess I see a bird. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh... Thanks?
Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Glasses. Damn. The embers are fancy as shit. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? <laughs> you are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I- I think. Time to light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Got it. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Nah, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, you blow me, Rachel. Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Settle on the place that you left Our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong
Cause most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun 